When you're painting, uh, you're working on unstretched canvas and, and then stretch it afterwards. Could you explain a little about that technique? Sure. Well, I, I think the reason I do that is I don't like the, I don't like the paint to uh, drip too much. Uh, and this is acrylic paint on canvas and it's water-based and you can get a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, things you don't really want to see uh, in things, you know, paint running off the canvas. So you're working on the floor? So I work flat, yeah. Yeah, with mops and, and the Atlantic to be mop is my one of my favorite tools. <laughs> I noticed there seem to be some large brush strokes, if we can yeah. call them that. So I wondered what tools you used. Yeah, that would be the Atlanta Bee Mop and also uh, house brushes I use quite often. Yeah. But you also use paint brushes. Oh yes, yeah. For, like there's usually a variety of, of uh, brush marks, you know, from really broad areas of color to fine lines. I like to have um, brushes where I can um, draw into the uh, color fields. Mm -hmm. yes. and, and do you tend to mix your own colors? Oh yes, like I, I always like to start with color. Um, if I'm going to start a piece, I will think, uh, mm, I feel like a blue piece, you know, so I will prepare a palette that's primarily in the blue range. You know, it may go somewhere else afterwards, but uh, I start with color. Nice. Yeah. Because uh, often there's some real, uh, a real contrasting color uh -huh. that appears somewhere yeah, like in the painting. Yeah, there's a few pieces that are uh, just pure primary colors, and so depending on what kind of punch I want to get out of a piece, I will uh, use some primary colors against each other to create a, more of an impact. And, and would you know the size of the painting? When you're when you're preparing it on the floor, or do you cut up paintings to make them smaller? Ah uh, no, I I start with the you know the size that that they were a specific size yeah. in mind. Yeah, yeah. I used to be quite influenced by the golden section ratio. You know that they built the pyramids on and all that kind of stuff. Yes. <laughs> it's a, a you know a mathematical proportion that that I have used and and apparently like it's a more pleasing proportion for for artwork. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wild, eh?